But we begin with what is an historic moment in the COVID-19 pandemic. We thank you for joining us this afternoon for 7 Action News at 5. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Alan Campbell. Governor Gretchen Whitmer announcing Michigan will open to full capacity sooner than expected. Now, initially, restrictions were to end on July 1st, but it's moving up nine days to Tuesday, June 22nd. And that's when capacity in both indoor and outdoor settings will increase to 100%. The state will no longer require residents to wear a face mask. This is all happening because numbers are trending in the right direction. 179 new cases for today and 20 additional deaths. But the first dose vaccination rate still a long ways off from that 70% the governor initially wanted. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirzner has been out all afternoon getting reaction to this news. He joins us live. So, Jim, what are folks saying about what the governor is now saying about the restrictions being lifted earlier than first anticipated? Most people are saying this is almost like the end of prohibition when we get to go back to 100%. But take a look. We're outside Ernie's Restaurant here in Clinton Township. This is the dining room area where they have the garage doors that they can open up. This is what they were able to use earlier this year when other restaurants had to go to outdoor dining and heated tents. The owner of Ernie's has teamed up with several other owners. They're actually suing the state and the governor for millions in lost revenue being forced to close and stay under restrictions. But take a look, it's back to normal, back to 100% next Tuesday. It's the first time since March of last year. Now, the governor had originally said they needed to reach herd immunity, 70% vaccination rate. That didn't happen. The CDC got ahead of her, lifting restrictions federally, so she was sort of forced to keep up. Not everyone is in favor of reopening now. You're going to hear from them. Some say, what's the difference, whether it's next week or July the 1st? Now, the governor was in Detroit this morning. She could have announced this, but instead she dodged the issue and dodged our questions. Why do you keep teasing the state of Michigan instead of giving us legitimate answers? We're in the Court of Appeals right now, and we have filed a class action uh, lawsuit on behalf of all of the restaurants in the state of Michigan. We expect it to go to the Supreme Court. Uh, so we're still in play with the lawsuit, and we're still battling. We feel that uh, irreparable damage has been done to us, and we're trying to be made whole. I don't think that's too, I don't, I don't think that you should wait, you should wait three more months, some three, four months. Ten days make that much difference? I don't know. It's more of a political uh, ploy, I think, than, than anything else. But I think it's a good idea. Why not? Now, the owners involved in this lawsuit wanted to be heard in Macomb County with a judge and jury, but that's still months down the road. We're going to have much more on this coming up next hour at 6. While this is the end of prohibition, this is a new problem for a lot of these business owners. They don't have the staffing to stay open seven days a week, 100% capacity until 2 o'clock in the morning. More on that next hour at 6. Live in Clinton Township, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right. Well, to many of us feeling positive about this news, Jim, thank you for the update. Alan. And joining us now live to talk about the governor's new timeline to fully reopen is Justin Winslow, president and CEO at Michigan Restaurant and Lodging Association. Justin, thanks so much for joining us. Sure. Thank you, Alan. Thanks for having me. So, Justin, as we just mentioned, full restrictions are being lifted earlier than expected. Now, this is some good news, but what is the main difference that these two weeks actually makes for restaurants? Listen, nine days is nine days. We'll, we will take it. We, will, we, we want to move past this period. It's been 463 days, Alan, that this industry has either been closed or operating with restrictions and uh, extra regulation and scrutiny uh, upon it. So, if, hey, if, even if it's one day, moving past that period is a positive step for the industry. Yeah, this is definitely some great news. As Jim just mentioned in his package there, a big problem that a lot of these restaurants are seeing is trying to get people to come into the doors. Not talking about patrons, but we're talking about workers. So what are the main challenges of going to full capacity? Yeah, listen, you're, you're right, right? At 50%, a lot of restaurants uh, are challenged to meet seven days a week and meet every meal, at lunch, breakfast, lunch, dinner, uh, with the staff that seems to be available right now. Uh, wages are rising quickly, twice as fast as any other industry in the country right now, uh, but it doesn't seem to be enough to meet that demand right now. 
Yeah, absolutely for sure. And we'll continue to follow this as restaurants in the entire state gets back up and running to some type of normalcy again. Hey, Justin, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And coming up at six tonight, the last minute push from one Metro Detroit restaurant to meet the demand to fully reopen next week. And on WXYZ.com, we have a timeline of all the major coronavirus announcements made in Michigan since the beginning of the pandemic. Glenda.